Cheers to Friday. Friday. It's Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leighton, and if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. It's currently Saturday at around 4.30, and I haven't filmed any content yet for my video for next week, and so I thought, why not vlog? So this video is gonna be, oop, train. This video is gonna be like a Saturday afternoon slash Saturday night vlog. I'm excited. I'm about to get ready to go to my friend's house. She's cooking dinner for me and another friend, so maybe I'll bring you guys along. I'm about to go do my makeup and stuff, and I wanna show y'all what I've been doing differently with my makeup recently. I've just been trying a few different things, and they're not big things, but I feel like I've noticed a difference in my makeup, and I feel like I've kind of up to my makeup game recently. So, I don't know, I've just been really into watching makeup YouTube videos lately and it's inspired me to improve my skills. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing for that. Right now I'm just chilling on the couch, sipping my coffee, my 4 p.m. coffee. <laughs> I slept in really late this morning and then I was just kind of lazy all morning and then I realized, wait, I haven't had my coffee so of course I had to make it. You can probably tell by the very few videos that I have on my channel already, I have an obsession with coffee. <laughs> it just makes me so happy. I love you. I don't know why I can't get my camera to focus on me and my window. I know it's possible because I've seen people film videos with the window as their background, but mine's just a white blur. Oh, also, I'm gonna show y'all a rare beauty products that I got, and I'll tell you how I've been liking them. Very exciting. I love Selena Gomez. I love that she started a makeup line. She's wonderful. Yeah, and then I'll take y'all to hang out with me and my friends for a little bit. And then we're gonna go to a rooftop to have a few drinks with my boyfriend and some other people. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a great Saturday. Okay, I kinda have to hurry because like I always do, I was just too busy dilly-dallying and now I kinda have to hurry to get ready or I'm gonna be late, I guess. As I'm doing my makeup, I'll kinda like fill you guys in on something. Like how I was saying, I slept in really late today because I've been so tired this week. I'm in my last semester of nursing school, so I'm currently doing my practicum, which is where I'm one-on-one -on -one with the nurse and I go to the hospital during her shifts, but they're 12-hour shifts, super long, and so I had two of those this week and then the days I didn't have that, I had nanning. This week has been pretty crazy. I'm just so thankful to have Saturday and Sunday off and then I go back for another shift on Monday. Okay, so the two rare beauty products I got are the concealer and a blush, the dewy blush. So this is a concealer. Oh yes, beautiful. And the blush. I'm gonna use some of this rare beauty concealer for some extra coverage. Hey guys, editing Layton here. For some reason, a big chunk of my video would not import onto my laptop from my camera, which is very frustrating. So I'm just gonna insert this clip of me summarizing what I said in that part of the video. So pretty much, I was just talking about how I love the Rare Beauty Concealer and how it blends beautifully. To me, it's the perfect amount of coverage because it covers well, but at the same time, it's not so thick to wear you feel cakey and like it's gonna clog your pores, which for me that means it's safer to put on bigger portions of your face, but it still covers really well and it stays on nicely throughout the day. So definitely recommend the concealer. Honestly, both of the Rare Beauty products I got, I loved and definitely recommend. I can't wait to try more of the products. Another thing I said I've been loving to do is the cat-like eyeliner on the inner corner of my eye to where it goes past my eye like this but I messed up in the video when I did it and I didn't have time to redo it and try to make it look good, so I just decided to take it off, which is why in this next clip you'll see messed up eyeliner just sitting there because I had to wait for it to dry before I took it off with the Q-tip, so that's that. 
And then I think the only other thing I said in that part of the video was just how I've been really into contouring my nose more lately. I've just been more precise about it and making those contour lines darker and more obvious and I feel like it really makes a difference and kind of brings together the whole face, the whole makeup look. So also along with the nose contour, I've been liking to do reverse contour, which is where I just take my foundation powder and really put it on thick right outside the nose contour because it enhances it even more. It's also great to do this with concealer if you're wanting to do that. Anyway, okay, let's get back to the video. Bye. Okay, so now I filled my eyebrows in with some eyeshadow and what I'm gonna do is go in with this new brow gel that I got. Just got it from Target. It's the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Mascara. I'll link it below. It used to be like sculpted brows we're in, but now I feel like we're going back to the whole natural messy look, which I like. So I've been really loving to go up, brush them up and out and it makes them look even thicker than they are. So that looks like a little too crazy, right? I don't wanna go in and completely flatten them because I still kind of want that thick natural look. But I'm just going to barely take my finger in like just a little bit and get some of those pointy parts down. But see, I don't know. I just think they look really nice that way. In this way, they stay in place also. So yeah, that's what I've been loving to do with my brows lately. I still have this eyeliner on the inside. I'm gonna take it off, just saying. Okay, the other thing that I've been noticing makes a big difference and goes a long way is curling my eyelashes. Once again, I used to do this years ago, but then I just stopped. I don't know why, but I'm realizing it really does make a difference for me if I curl my eyelashes before I do my mascara. It makes the mascara go on way better and my eyelashes look so much longer, so yeah. I don't know, this, these are pretty basic things, but I'm just saying they're things that can be slept on and I'm realizing, for me, they can add up to make a big difference. Okay, so I have my mascara on and now I have to let the parts that I got on my eyelid dry before I take it off with a Q-tip. But while we're waiting, let's go ahead and do blush. I got the, the dewy blush, not the matte, and it's the color Joy. And it's like this corally color. I really like it, but the thing with the blush, they're very pigmented. So you literally need like a minuscule dot. Okay, got it. I don't know, see that right there is gonna go crazy. Let me just take my finger and blend it. I love, I just think it's such a beautiful color. Okay, it blends pretty nicely even like on top of all my powder and stuff. Something else I really have been liking to do is I go on top of my brows and really clean everything up with my foundation powder. So I take this brush and I just The last thing that I've been doing that I've been loving is I got these little sections of fake lashes. These are the ones I got. But I just take one of them and put them in the corner. I love this because it gives you that like extra drama look and that extra like boxy cat eye, which I love, but also it still looks natural. Like it doesn't look like you have fake lashes on, but it also just gives that extra that extra something. I've also been obsessed with this new eyelash glue that I got. It's the Duo, which Duo is the best eyelash glue brand, by the way. It goes on like this, so much easier, and it's black, or it's, actually this looks like navy, but it's dark, so you don't have to worry about the glue showing up, which it's been great. I just love that extra cat eye. Just gonna show you guys really quick what I'm wearing before I run out the door. I'm just wearing this top also from my Shein haul and these jeans and my Adidas and shoes. These are the same as my white ones. They're the Falcon, but they're just different colors. Pretty sure these are from Kylie's collection, but I really love them. I don't think I want to wear this tonight, but I just threw it on really quick because like 
Ooh, I gotta ooh. See y'all soon. If you're gonna do it. One no big. big. I bought a <laughs> Hey, we're at Madison's house. <laughs> oh, she's she's cooking. Me and Madison. <laughs> Hi. She's starting a channel, so be on the lookout. Here's Katie. Hi. She got her hair done today. Doesn't it look beautiful? Just for late. Oh, wait. Just, just for late. I don't have any questions about the... Look at these wine glasses that Madison has. They're literally the size of my face. <laughs> they fit a full bottle of wine. So cute. And a little Tell bit smaller than mine. <laughs> they fit a full what bottle of wine. A full bottle of wine goes yeah. in here? Yeah, it like goes up to like right here. That is but that's so funny. It's so, like, wide. so yeah, this is like a full glass of wine right here, but it like barely even. Ooh, look at Katie's disgusting round. <laughs> Katie's disgusting round glass. Yes. You're such a peasant. She's so normal. You're such a. I'm just kidding. She's like yeah, we're just at Madison's family's house. It's as beautiful as you can see. <laughs> Where are your parents? They're at Amelia's. Okay. They went on a date. Oh, they're. On a date, so we're cooking dinner here. Madison's pretty much a chef, by the way. She doesn't follow recipes. So, like no, all. that's a true chef right yeah. there. Let's show a little cooking content. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Hey. Chef Madison. <laughs> Together, like. So, Chef Madison, what are you making for us it's tonight? It's this, like, mushroom, shrimp, spinach, truffle, Pasta. Wow. So I use, oh girl. That sounds amazing. It's very, very good. This is literally a dream. And a dream meal. It's very mm. it's a tough and green. Mm. It's very good. And oh yes, Ooh. wine and pasta is so good. And this is the I'll show you the truffle. The viewers want to see it. It's truffle salt. <laughs> <laughs> truffle salt? Yeah. Whoa. Alright. Dinner time! And the most important well, thing got, to me, I got to taste lemon it to top it off. Yeah. Wanna? <laughs> 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 oh, lemon. oh baby, that right there, that's the ticket. Uh, have you seen Glow Up? Glow Up? The, the, not the movie, the show on Netflix. No. I highly recommend. Uh, okay, recommendation from Katie. British, but it's a competition between like people that do makeup, like makeup oh. artists. One of the judges, Val, always says if she likes to look, she goes, Ding dong! Ding dong, bitches dance! Ding dong, bitches dance! <laughs> salsa. salsa. Wait, Katie's good at salsa. Oh, okay. wait, <laughs> salsa. So I learned the merengue in the Dominican Republic. Oh, and what, basically, sorry. what you do is you just shuffle your feet, you know. Very simple. Should I do an edit? Yeah. yeah. I always breathe really weird when I smile. <laughs> You guys, something she matches the room. I match the room by cool and neutrals. My, um, <laughs> you really do like perfectly. Like a, I got the wine in it. Like a love. Madison is so sweet. Look at this little setup she made. I, I can't even. I literally, literally don't do anything with it. <laughs> Set up this. Okay, we're gonna go enjoy this. Bye. I don't got a ton of gold.